Hey YouTube, 215 Raider Nation, making a figure review. It's requested by Tommy41339, asking me can I be able to make figure reviews on some of my figures. He asked me to do some figure reviews on figures five or four at a time. And I was thinking, I do have a lot of figures. I can start talking about them individually. Um, if you've got any any YouTuber out there that got any requests in seeing my figures and you know certain figures you want me to talk about, inbox me or leave a comment on my channel, and I'll be happy to talk about any figure that I have or I plan on getting whatever. Which reason why I picked these two figures are because these are the two newest figures I have to add to my collection. Um, I was going to wait to get some more figures, but I don't know when that will be, since no stores has any new figures right now, which I will be taking a trip to New York on my birthday that I might see what they have to offer. But either or, start with this figure right here, get a close up. This is Chris Jericho, which we all should know. Y2J Chris Jericho is the elite figure. Been out for a while. This is the Chris Jericho with the blue trunks and the blue boots, which he also comes in an elite form just like this with the color purple and black besides the blue and black. I mean, and silver, silver with both figures. Um, he comes with a microphone. Um... You know, a figure I saw a couple times that I happened to look past because other figures I wanted more. But I used to be a huge Chris Jericho fan. And I, I'm, I'm sorry to say in past tense because I'm still a Chris Jericho fan, not as huge anymore. Uh, since he did come back the second time, the second coming, quote unquote. Um, I liked him back in the early 90s. Um, when he was probably with the long hair, even when he was in WCW as Chris Jericho, you know, the young lion or, you know, when the lion tamer or the walls of Jericho, whatever you call it, actually was the walls of Jericho. It looked like it hurt. Besides, he do this crappy ass Boston Crab now that no one taps out of. When Chris Jericho used to put the walls of Jericho on people, people tacked out instantly. You know, now he put it on, people breaks out, no one taps out of it anymore. You know, it's it's not a good <laughs> finisher move, submission move anymore. They made it so weak. Um, the gimmick he had, since he was there, uh, recently there, um, him being like this smug prick. You know, he wasn't funny. He really, I mean, he was entertaining. He still could wrestle. I mean, a man is only like 40 years old, if that, and he put on decent matches, but he was too serious. I mean, granted, I still like Chris Jericho, if I prefer him back when he had a long hair in a rock star era, or, the you know, him acting like the Alatola rock and roller, yeah, but I still like him either or since he was there, kind of miss him when he comes back. He was supposed to be coming back before WrestleMania. Um, his contract negotiations of him coming back to wrestling. But I don't know if they reach a deal or not. Last thing I heard about Chris Jericho is he's supposed to be taped to do Dancing with the Stars soon. So I don't know will he be at WrestleMania or what. But back to the figure. Figure is a nice detailed figure. With boots got the word save me on there. I'm kind of happy I did get the one that him in blue. Didn't really want the purple. I don't want him to like no free pepper, right? <laughs> Back of his trunk say save me. Nice figure, you know. You know, I got him in a pose like he used to do when he used to come out in wrestling. All you'll see is his back and his arms out like break the walls down. Well, she don't do that no more. He just walk out looking like a jackass. Excuse my language. Um, 
nice face sculpting. Smiling Chris Jericho, which, you know, he ain't really smile anymore. Can't wait for him to come back. Next figure. My name is Finley. This is Finley. The reason why I got this figure is because of the face sculpting. This, you know, it looks like Finley. You know, he has the modern day uh, outfit he was wearing before we stopped seeing him on TV. He was wearing this black and gold trimming with the silver trimming as well. Um, nice figure. Um, I actually like it because I wanted the outfit. The outfit is kind of cool. Besides the green and silver he normally used to wear. Um, it's like I said, it's a basic Mattel figure. But it's a great figure. Space sculpted is really on point. Um, got both these two figures at Kmart. Um, nice face. You know, for someone that's 50 years old and still wrestling. Well, he, well, he was still wrestling. He's good for someone his age. I mean, he's still employed with WWE. He's a, a road agent. Um, he normally trains, you know, the up-and-tummer, you know, new stars in the WWE. He's mostly behind the scenes now. Sometimes you might catch him in some type of dark match with a wrestler on SmackDown or Superstars and stuff like that. But he haven't had a role since they broke him and Hornswoggle up. Um, I actually do like him as a heel, but like I said, they're not planning on using him in anything since, I guess, his age, or, you know, him doing other things beyond wrestling. But a great technician, a great brawler, um, a real tough Irish guy, you know, he loves to fight, you know, he's been in a lot of matches, actually had a, um, a VHS tape I had a while ago, with him wrestling back in like the late sixties, so he been he been wrestling since he was a like a kid, you know. So nice figure though, real nice face sculpting. You know, I know a lot of people that um doesn't like collecting the Mattel basic or, you know, they got only a particular they collect. They might just collect a elite. Or they might just collect TNA, or they don't like collecting TNA, Jacks, Deluxe, or Ruthless Aggression, whatever the case may be. Me, I'm a figure collector. I collect figures that I'm interested in, characters that I do prefer liking, um, a cool figure. You know, I'm just an all-around figure collector. I, does, I don't, you know, narrow it down to only certain figures I do collect. I collect which I like and... Which I should narrow it down since it will save me money, but I prefer to get certain figure, a lot of figures that I'm interested in, or I think they did a real good, nice job in making. But I'm not going to keep rambling on. Um, it's getting late because I was watching Raw, which <laughs> it was funny seeing Michael Cole run from Jerry to King Lawler, but that's another story. But these are my two new figures I made. I just got, I mean. Um, so, yeah, if, if you want to see more reviews on my figures, you know, leave comments, leave suggestions. You know, I'm open for suggestions or whatever. So, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Please subscribe to Mr. Wrestling 1985. And, um, thanks again. This is 215 Raider Nation saying peace, and I'm signing out. I'll be your end of days, but